High blood pressure is a common condition that affects the body's arteries. It's also called hypertension. If you have high blood pressure, the force of the blood pushing against the artery walls is consistently too high. The heart has to work harder to pump blood. Now, blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury. In general, hypertension is a blood pressure reading of 130 over 80 millimeter or higher. Hello and welcome to the Spotlight on Food and Health Communications, your number one go-to source for credible and timely health information. Victor Wabery is my name. Today, the Spotlight is on hypertension. Do you stay with me? Welcome back. It's still the program The Spotlight and today the light is on hypertension. The American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association divide blood pressure into four general categories. The ideal blood pressure is categorized as normal blood pressure, elevated blood pressure, stage 1 hypertension and stage 2 hypertension. Let's start off with the first one, the normal blood pressure. Blood pressure is 120 over 80 mm or lower. Elevated blood pressure. The top number ranges from 120 to 129 millimeter and the bottom number is below, not above 80 millimeter. And when you talk about the stage 1 hypertension, the top number ranges from 130 to 139 millimeter or the bottom number is between 80 and 89 millimeter. And to the stage 2 hypertension, the top number is 140 millimeter or higher or the bottom number is 90 millimeter or higher. Blood pressure higher than 180 over 120 millimeter is considered a hypertensive emergency or crisis. Seek emergency medical help for anyone with this blood pressure numbers. Untreated high blood pressure increases the risk of heart attack, stroke and other serious health problems. It's important to have your blood pressure checked at least every two years starting at age 18. Some people need more frequent checks. Now, healthy lifestyle habits such as not smoking, exercising and eating well can help prevent and treat high blood pressure. Some people need medicine to treat high blood pressure. Now let's talk about the symptoms. Most people with high blood pressure have no symptoms. Even if blood pressure readings, you know, reach dangerously high levels, you can have high blood pressure for years without any symptoms. But a few people with high blood pressure may have headache, shortness of breath, nosebleeds, but however, the symptoms are in specific. They usually do not occur until high blood pressure has reached a severe or life-threatening stage. Now, when do you see a doctor? Blood pressure screening is an important part of general health care. How often should you get your blood pressure checked? Depends on your age and overall health. Now, you need to ask your provider for a blood pressure reading at least every two years, starting at age 18. If you're age 40 or older, or you're 18 to 39 with a high risk of high blood pressure, ask for a blood pressure every year. So you see, it varies at that point. Your care provider will likely recommend more frequent readings if, have, if you have high blood pressure or other risk factors for heart disease. Children age 3 and older may have blood pressure measured as a part of their yearly checkups. If you don't regularly see a care provider, you may be able to get a free blood pressure screening at a health resource fair or other locations in your community. Free blood pressure machines are also available in some stores and pharmacies. The accuracy of these machines depends on several things such as a correct cough size and proper use of the machines. Ask your healthcare provider for advice on using public blood pressure machines. What are the causes of hypertension? Blood pressure is determined by two things, the amount of blood the heart pumps and how hard it is for the blood to move through the arteries. The more blood the heart pumps and the narrower the arteries, the higher the blood pressure. 
there are two main types of high blood pressure. Number one, the primary hypertension, also called essential hypertension. For most adults, there's no identifiable cause of high blood pressure. This type of high blood pressure is called primary hypertension or essential hypertension. It tends to develop gradually over many years. Plaque buildup in the arteries, called atherosclerosis, increases the risk of high blood pressure. Number two, the secondary hypertension. This type of high blood pressure is caused by an underlying condition. It tends to appear suddenly and cause higher blood pressure than, you know, those primary hypertension. Conditions and medicines that can lead to secondary hypertension include number one, adrenal gland tumors. Number two, blood vessel problems present at birth, also called congenital heart defects. Number three, cough and cold medicines, some pain relievers, breath control pills, and other prescription drugs. Number four, illegal drugs such as cocaine and amphetamines. Number five, kidney disease. Number six, obstructive sleep apnea. And number seven, triad problems we will be talking about the complications but this we will do when we come back from this break please stay with me Welcome back. It's still the program, The Sports Light, and we've been talking about hypertension. We have seen what hypertension is. We've talked about the symptoms. We've also talked about the causes. And right now, we want to talk about the complications. The excessive pressures on the artery walls caused by high blood pressure can damage blood vessels and body organs. The higher the blood pressure and the longer it goes uncontrolled, the greater the damage. On uncontrolled high blood pressure, can lead to complications including heart attack or stroke. Hardening the thickening of the arteries due to high blood pressure or other factors can lead to a heart attack, stroke or other complications. Number two, aneurysm. Increased blood pressure can cause a blood vessel to weaken and bulge, forming an aneurysm. If an aneurysm ruptures, it can be life-threatening. Number three, heart failure. When you have high blood pressure, the heart has to work harder to pump blood. The strain causes the walls of the heart's pumping chamber to thicken. This condition is called left ventricular hypertrophy. Eventually, the heart can't pump enough blood to meet the body's needs, causing heart failure. Number five, kidney problems. High blood pressure can cause the blood vessels in the kidneys to become narrow or weak. This can lead to kidney damage. Number six, eye problems. Increased blood pressure can cause thickened, narrowed, or torn blood vessels in the eyes. This can result in vision loss. Number seven, metabolic syndrome. This syndrome is a group of disorders of the body's metabolism. It involves the irregular breakdown of sugar, also called glucose. The syndrome includes increased waist size, high triglycerides, decreased high density lipoprotein, also known as HDL or good cholesterol, high blood pressure, and high blood sugar levels. This condition makes you more likely to develop diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Number seven, changes with memory or understanding. Uncontrolled high blood pressure may affect the ability to think, remember, and learn. Number eight, dementia. Narrowed or blocked arteries can limit blood flow to the brain. This can cause a certain type of dementia called vascular dementia. A stroke that interrupts blood flow to the brain also causes vascular 
dementia and thus is where we let down the anchors i trust you've learned a thing or two you can see how bad and how terrible hypertension is it's something that can be controlled if you have a high blood pressure it's not a death sentence you can get it controlled by proper checking up on your doctor going to see your doctor as possible and if you know your hypertension is on the rise just like i said earlier always check your bp level to be sure of the stage where it is if you do all those things we've talked about about on the show today, I can assure you that your health life as regarding hypertension will be on a positive side. Remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm only here to give you instructions and to guide you to a healthy life. So I come your way next time. My name is Victor Wabery. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You could also like our videos and we've got, you know, quite a lot of health content out there for your health benefits. So I come your way next time. Once again, my name is Victor Wabery. Cheers.